uh, Cashy joining us right now, now uh, a consultant in the medical marijuana industry. Thanks for being on here. My pleasure. We've heard a lot about this over the past few months. On the front page of the province. Front page of the province, and we've uh, heard you go on record saying in the next five years, policy is going to change in a major way. Why this timeline, and why is it the time for, for this to change? Well, in five years, I believe we're going to have a recreational adult use of marijuana here in Canada because it's going to be a responsible particular industry based on what is taking place, not only within our borders, but outside of our borders. When you look at the two large petri dishes taking place in Colorado and Washington, we can learn from their experience when you look at what's taking place in Uruguay, the only country that has full legalization in place at this particular time, when you look at what's happening in the Netherlands and how we're responsibly implementing the medicinal marijuana regulations in Canada, which have changed, you could see that it's just a matter of time based on public opinion where we're going to go with this particular industry. We can go with the uh, policing side of things, we can go with the, the usage side of things, but the bottom line here for many is the dollar and dollars and cents behind uh, legalization or medicinal marijuana and how the tax benefits have proven to be exponential in both Colorado and Washington State. Absolutely. It's more than fourfold on tax revenue in Colorado than they expected. So that's incredible. <clears throat> but what is happening right now is 60% of all illicit drug profits come from marijuana. That's worldwide. In organized crime, gang crime, people working the black market are making all this money. Now we're starting to turn around and have a responsible industry and use that tax revenue to put it into important programs such as education schools. So in fact, what we're having is this movement, this fundamental shift take place and we're going to find more of that taking place here in Canada because we are now moving the uh, former medicinal marijuana regulations which were basically controlled by organized crime. The majority of the product from MMAR guidelines which came into effect in 2001 when I was a commanding officer of the drug unit in Vancouver where we were having record breaking arrests and we were interdicting six to eight billion dollars worth of marijuana a year we weren't making any difference at all but medicinal marijuana regulations came into place and they were fought with problems and organized crime managed to get into it because a majority of product under MMAR, the former regulations, was hived off to the illicit market. Now we're creating a new commercialized business here in Canada under the new medicinal marijuana program where in fact we can now create industry, we can have standards, we can look at the, the quality of marijuana that people are consuming for medicinal purposes, we have uh, a, a trial taking place here in Canada, the first time that I believe in North America, clinical trials to deal with osteoarthritis that's sponsored by Prairie Plant Systems. So we're starting to move and we're starting to learn so much more on the medicinal quality of marijuana and in fact moving, I believe, a perpetuating step towards a full legalization. Huge advocate, uh, clearly, this is your baby. You've championed this idea for years. Have you smoked pot? Never. You I have. have not ever. And still such a champion of the idea. Absolutely. Based on my practical experience, 31 years in policing, being the commanding officer of the drug unit in Vancouver, testifying in front of the Senate Committee in 2001, where in fact I advocated for changes 13 years ago while I was a commanding officer of the drug unit. That made headlines. But where we are now 13 years later is somewhere where it's, you know, we're finally moving on it. And I'm part of that now because I want to make sure it's done responsibly, that it's done correctly correctly here in Canada. Do you know of anybody or do you have any people in your immediate circle that have utilized medicinal marijuana, whether it be by smoking it or lozenges or rubs or whatever? Yes, I do. Matter of fact, uh, several high profile people in this province have privately admitted to me that they consume it for medicinal purposes based on an ailment that they have. And you know, this is encouraging to me and, and more and more people uh, are coming out and t talking to me in private. but I believe they're going to come out and talk about it in public and that's what I'm encouraging them to do. When you look at some of the uh, documentaries that have been done in this particular area, you have to look at Dr. Sanjay Gupta, a very respectable uh, medical doctor 
when his mind changed when he was dealing with this young girl who had 300 seizures and it wasn't until she had a strain of marijuana with high CBD and very very low THC the psychoactive part of it where in fact she went down to almost no seizures a day it's incredible uh, what we can learn from this particular product so it's encouraging we're going to clinical trials here in Canada clinical trials are taking place in Israel who are far advanced in this particular area and other European countries are moving forward on the these particular trials so it's a matter of learning it's a matter of taking this uh, particular plant learning more about it from a medicinal purpose but having practical knowledge of what's taking place because so many people are consuming this particular product now and we want to make sure if they're consuming it that we regulate it similar to alcohol right. and that we control the quality and quantity and of it. And you make a great point when you can, when you talk about the plant we could talk for an hour on this topic clearly it's a much broader topic than we can cover just here on breakfast television but one thing while it might be a national initiative we have the habitat perfect for growing said plant so when the medicinal trials or when the clinical trials continue it can be a great industry for BC we have to go uh, out to Don now please come back and let us know about your the Absolutely. clinical tri trial findings it's a fascinating fascinating topic Thanks thank for being you here. cash heat my pleasure in the BT studios now we go to Don who is at Blue Water